Hey everybody, welcome back to Gretchen's Bakery. Yes, it is Gretchen's Beanstalk and the Magical Beans today. For those of you who have not yet heard of Aquafaba, you are in for a world of magic right now. This is quite possibly the most amazing thing to hit the pastry scene since I don't even know what. For those of you who are practicing a vegan diet or who have uh, egg allergies, I get so many questions um, as to how to substitute the egg portion in my Swiss buttercream recipe to accommodate vegan or egg allergies and the answer has always been you really can't because there's nothing that can simulate the foaming action of an egg white. Until now, we've got aquafaba. Okay, so what is aquafaba? Well, let's break down the word. It's aqua for water and faba for bean, chickpea water. This is the drained water that comes out of a can of chickpeas, and we're going to reduce that down. So what do I mean when I say create a reduction? It's basically just that. We're taking the original amount of liquid, get that into a rolling boil, and then we're going to put it down to a simmer. And what's going to happen is that we're basically going to reduce the original amount, which was one and a half cups, down to one cup. So we're evaporating out some of that moisture and what we'll be left with is like this starchy, almost gelatinous because beans do have um, starch properties. So you're gonna see it once we get down to that portion of it and um, then we're gonna cool it and then whip it and we've got ourselves a vegan Swiss buttercream, guys. But wait, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let's take a look at all of the ingredients that I have here on the table. Shortening and earth balance buttery sticks. Now, if you guys just simply have an egg allergy and you don't care to substitute the butter as well, then you can go ahead and use straight up butter just like my original Swiss buttercream recipe. We do have some granulated sugar. I'm going to use vanilla paste this time. Uh, we do have the confectioner's sugar and Pretty much that's it. So let's get to reducing this aquafaba. Okay, so now that we have reduced our chickpea water down to one cup, it is still really piping hot. We're going to go ahead and add that granulated sugar right into there. And because it's so hot, it's going to dissolve instantly. Now pour the entire mixture into the KitchenAid bowl with the whip attachment and get it whipping on high speed. Now I have sifted my confectioner's sugar and we're going to add that all at once. Just get it mixing on low so that it can incorporate. Now, as you can see, it did sort of turn into a bit of a soupy mixture, but if we keep on whipping it, it's gonna come right back. I'm gonna add my vanilla paste. And what we have now is a very silky smooth Swiss vegan Swiss meringue buttercream. I never thought it could be possible. Thank you whoever created aquafaba. Anything that requires a foamed egg white, we've got it right here. Mm. It's really good. You guys are gonna really love this recipe. So if you have egg allergies or you practice a vegan lifestyle, this is definitely your recipe. 
As always guys, thanks for watching Gretchen's Bakery. Get all the recipes at Gretchen'sBakery.com. I think I have to make some cupcakes now.